All right, welcome to Smokey Approved Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist. And on this one, it is another edition of Jern Rivers. Uh, you guys asked me to check out a young man named George. Uh, you guys said that he had some fashion compilations I probably should check out. So we're here to do that today. Uh, and since the boy just came home, I'm just be honest about my thought process. I was going to do Jimin's episode first for his birthday. However... I felt like this might be a little bit more special since our boy just came home. You know, J-Hope just got discharged. So I figured I'd do J-Hope's first, then Jimin's second, just because it just it was a little bit closer in date and time. And I had done the last release for Jimin's birthday, just to keep it a little bit fair, you know, spread the love and the wealth. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing on this one. So thank you for joining me for another episode of Jern Rivers. Uh, if you would like to support the channel, please do hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description. Or if you would like to help me a little bit more and a lot of you guys already have so thank you but in the description of this video you will find my newest single please go check it out i think you guys might like it and this is a genre of music i don't think a lot of people know about but if you do let me know what you think if you don't totally get it i know we're here for the bts folk but i do just have to ask because i do need some help that said let's get into this thank you for joining me and let's go what do you got for me georgia boy georgia. Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with the third episode of Fashion Expert Reviews, BTS Airport Outfits, and today it's time to talk all about J-Hope. I absolutely love J-Hope's style. It's out there, it's cool, it's streetwear, it is luxury. If you've not seen the previous two episodes of Fashion Expert Reacts, BTS Airport Outfits, I'll leave the playlist linked in the description box for you so you can check that out after watching this video. I upload videos here on my channel four times a week, so if you'd like to be notified of when I next upload Fashion Expert Reacts, which will be all about gin, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell. Go on. I'll wait for you. As usual, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps me out when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. Let's get stuck into J-Hope. I do also have to say thank you to all the army that watches my videos because when I look at my like, like to dislike ratio, I'm pretty much sitting at like 100%. I rate that because sometimes I'm not always gonna be agree in agreement with how you may feel individually for some of your favorites or some of the songs that I do but you guys don't never like hate dislike me and I do appreciate that because that's a good dynamic we have I still get to be honest and you guys still rate the video despite not always having to agree with me and I do appreciate that and I see that so thank you guys very much if this is your first time watching fashion expert reviews let me explain how this is going Please to work I've got all of Jay what because how John Rivers works is like it hate it and why I like it and don't hate it and what it make me feel. That's pretty much all I do. I, I don't have nothing special. So if this is your first time watching, this man probably has a degree or like studies or like is really focused on this. I just, I'm cheeky and I have an opinion. <laughs> That's about it. A Hope's looks on the iPad. I'm going to go through and talk references, designers, etc., And then I'm going to rate each outfit out of the wings. We're at the airport, wings. Yep. I've also linked oh, some of the items and similar styles in the description box. So if you want to check those out, they're there ready and waiting for you. J-Hope look number one, I am living. I uh, also, I'm probably going to skip the designer parts and everything. Not to be rude to my boy's video, just how I look at high fashion. I honestly don't give a fuck who you people are. Did you make a nice piece of clothing? If so, then that's all it should be. I don't care whose name is on it. Like, say that that's a good Gucci bag right there, right? Does it need to say Gucci on it? No. Do we care more because Gucci's on it? Fuck no. So this is why I may skip the whole, like, breakdown. Unless I see an outfit where I'm like, who made that piece? I want to know that name. Outside of that, I'm just being honest about what I plan on doing. Uh, as I see this outfit, though... Solid fucking outfit. I like it. It's like that oversized uh, jacket look, but then with like a streamlined under like undershirt and pants. It, the cuff, though, on the pants is quite high for me. It's still a nice cuff. Like, it works for the look, but it's just quite, quite high for me. Print clash. Print clashes can be really daunting. A lot of people together yeah. yellow. Oh, we get extra looks at the thing, so I get a, a look. Okay, okay. This solid as hell. Black. Of his is how you pull off actual fabric. Because of the accessories and sh See, I'm not a fan of them shoes, though. I see the silhouette from the side. 
like those chunky like runners are just not always my thing. I just the people just take it a little too far. It's just like people wearing Crocs. Like if you wear Crocs because you're like at a doctor's office or like you work in a kitchen, it's passable. It's okay. But man, to be wearing Crocs because they think they cool is crazy. However. I'm putting my foot in my mouth. They've got a new pair of Crocs right now that I've seen in an advert that look like a pair of tennis shoes, but it's from Crocs. I kind of like those, though. And they've got a very uh, embellished uh, silhouette for the, the bottom of the runner. So maybe I'm talking a little shit. Maybe. But those ones right here on screen, yeah, it's no for me, pal. Cheers. And it's got the pockets, like the back pockets on the front. That's a different kind of pair. It's a tie-in of it. If the striped t-shirt and when i found it, the matching plaid i hate the hat i hate the hat i love everything else this nigga jimmy got on because that's a hard outfit i like the the the, the what is that the pumpkin tone turtleneck with the yellow that's hard bag work um converse are cool they're just not my favorite like they do work they're like a great shoe it's just i've not worn a pair of converse in years so i'm just kind of weary of them and then how my feet look last time i put on some vans so i'm not rocking with vans like vans is dead so i don't know but i really like uh jimmy's outfit though bad the denim with the 10 wings straight off the gate this I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 wings because I just don't rate the shoes now that I know what the shoes look like, but everything else works so well. It's such a clash together. It's My nigga Jimmy, though, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 wings as well because of that hat. Got to take out just points. Perfect. J-Hope look to... It's cute. It's cute. It's not bad. It's giving auntie from the hips down. Like, that feels like an auntie vibe. But overall... It's not bad. And then I like the, is it the layering that's happening with the jacket? Not the actual, like, multiple layers, but, like, how the folds look on that jacket make it look very nice. It's really good. And then it's a nice little Burberry top. I'm not mad at it. I'm not the biggest fan of the bag. It's not a bad bag, but it's no for me. It's no for me. Overall, for this outfit, oh, hold on. We get ex extra look. With this flap, that is so. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, the nigga look like a rebel right here. I like this. With the little glasses tucked under. Does he even need those glasses? Or is that just because he thinks he's cute with glasses? He has glasses. That's nice. Korean passports are green. I feel like I've asked this question before, but I'm just not noticing it. I feel. That's dope, though. That's good color green. Oh, oversized, how it's been packed together. Yeah, the fluffy hair in the front. Yeah, it's a very streetwear denim jean. St. Paul. I wish I could pull a fuck so Again, I'm going to have to give him a nine. It's not my favorite outfit I've seen on my boy. It's not the worst outfit I've seen on my boy. And there's just certain elements that I'm just like, I wouldn't do that. And if, we, if we're going to do the Joan Rivers thing, I have to take points off for the shit that I wouldn't do. Because otherwise, what, what are we even here for? I don't understand it. But it's a great outfit, though. Really good choices. Casual because I love a bucket. Also, George, if you watch this ever, please, bro, don't be upset with me. I'm sorry. I just, I appreciate your hard work and the diligence you put into explaining why these pieces work from a fashion aspect. But I don't respect the fashion world enough to care. And I just need to be honest. But I appreciate every bit of the work you've done. And if you care that much about the fashion world and why they say certain things work, then please go watch this video without me talking on it and go to George's channel because he does deserve the attention and the time. I'm just parsing his video for the part that I need. I'm so sorry. But thank you very much. Yeah, so outfit. Yeah, it's Burberry. It's nice. Works so love, but it's not just out. Oh, so back on us, look. This screen. Oh, God damn it. I hate this. I hate this. I hate every bit about this. I'm trying to find. I like the Murakami shit on the on the back. That's nice. But that's just because I like Murakami. Murakami pieces on the walls of my office. Shout out to Ghost Rider. If you don't know who Ghost Rider is, he's got a song called Look at Me Now. Banger. Banger, but the writer part is W R I D A H. He's from Florida. I don't know what he's doing now, but that record, that album, whoo! Uh, I was saying back to the back to the close. No, no, I don't like none of it. Y'all are gonna explain to me why you like it in the comments. Please do. 
I don't like none of it. The chunky shoe, base bottom on the Pumas. I don't like that. It's like a creeper bottom, but they're not creepers. I like the washed out color of like the sweats, jeans, whatever that is. I think they're sweats. But the dress shirt with the sweats, with the clear bag, with the headband, with the white glasses. Let's, this is how you know he does fashion because he makes it look good. But do I enjoy looking at it? No. And that's why I can't I can't approve this. This is a hard four out of ten, four, four wings out of ten for sure. No. Green Loki giving me. Help me. They're not. No. A really oversized joggers. The extra look here has helped. I don't like more things. I do think that it's quite interesting that the creeper bottom is clear, though. It's almost like it's see through. I do like that. That's a nice touch for that shoe and its construction. But that's it. That's that's all I can give you. That's all I can give you. What the hell is in your bag, boy? What the hell you got in that bag? What you got in that bag? Shout out Ludacris. <laughs> the oversized platform, no. see through pins on it. We've sat out. What I love the most is the oversized cuff and the steam detail coming down the front of them. It just makes them really interesting oh, incredibly well. Or like working it. A new, my personal taste. But wings, like I said, this look is- So far apart, I just, a bit so far apart. I, Drip, don't drown, don't you, my nigga? Woo! That's hard. That's, a, hey, that's hard. Jacket alone is a 10. You put it with the rest of the shit, hey, that nigga killing it. And then just that little pop of yellow at the bottom for like a little different color tone to just change the outfit up like that. And then are those the D Dior Converse? Is them Dior's? Oh, wait, this nigga cooking. The green on green with gray and the yellows with the white. With the glasses. See, the glasses would set it off. The glasses set it off. It's a hard-ass outfit. I don't know what the fuck Jimin got on behind him. He looked like he about to go get on a motorcycle. I ain't even see that nigga face. I know that's Jimin. Them boots and that jacket let me know that's Jimin like a motherfucker. That nigga driving motorcycles. Ah, no, that's... Jimin gets a three wings out of ten. I just, I don't like the outfit. Like, individual pieces in the outfit since it's here. We're going to go through it. Uh, I like the boots. Do I like them with those pants? No. But do they work with those pants? Yes. The leather jacket. I just really feel like he needs... Oh, what's that movie? I swear it had uh, Ice Cube and the man in it. Ah, Full Throttle, I believe is the name of the movie. He looked like he about to go be in one of those. Or Biker Boys. That's it. He looked like he would be in Biker Boys. That's the one I was thinking of. But back to J or not Jim and J-Hope. That's a hard fucking outfit. That nigga was stunting at the airport that day. Comfy and cool like a motherfucker. God damn. Yeah. Give me these shoes on the side. I want to know if they Dior. Now I got to listen. Hold on. But oh, I just love this. Like, to me, my feet, airport outfits video. But he's got the crop trousers, the hoodie that's comfy. He's got the Dior B23 sneakers on, which are just so. I say I don't care, but I know my shit. I say I don't care, but I know. Hey, come on. That's all I need. Thank a classic. Much. So much. And they blew up within like the streetwear community online. No, no, no. The hype beast is who's online wearing them shits. Because honestly, I ain't never seen them shits in the wild at all. Nowhere in the streets have I ever seen a man walk down on me on some Dior Chuck Taylors. Never seen them before. However, rich niggas and hype beast. I have seen that. I've seen that quite a bit. Luggage bag. This is where I'm so. I trend is that hard. I'm in love. This is. I really love that. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> what? Ah. I'm sorry. I can't even look above the boy ankle yet because some shoes have just distracted me. Like, uh, you remember the Nike air pumps? That's what the tongue on the shoe look like. But then the arch in the shoe is what's throwing me off. That like, your podiatrist sees those shoes and has angina every time. Because the arch on that is so ridiculously high. Those, those can't be good for the feet. They have to be terrible to walk in. They can't be comfy. Now, if somebody in the, on the channel knows of these shoes and can tell me how comfy they are, I would love to find out from somebody that's worn them, but that arch, or maybe it's just an outward silhouette and the shoe's internal arch doesn't go that high because that's the only way that the shoe would be comfortable. But nah, they look like a merger of some Balenciagas and there was this uh, 
I want to say the material is wicker. But let's just say that's the correct material. But LeBron James had these wicker uh, LBJs that the tongue and the back of the shoe remind me of that. And then the rest of it looks like a Balenciaga shoe. We'll find out. I'm going to see George drop the shoe name. Now that I've said everything I need to about the the shoes, I can look at the rest of the outfit. Damn, the rest of the outfit's adequate. I'm not, the rest of the outfit, easily give it a... Wait, did I write the last joint? Yeah, it was because it was a trench coat. That was that was a ten. I was ten wings out of ten. That nigga was flying that day. This one, I give it a seven, because I'm not really the distressed like sleeve like cut off look for the jacket. It's not really my flair, but like it does look good on our boy. You know he know how to drip, so it looks good. I like the pop of the brown belt with everything being black. And they tell you not don't wear brown and black together, but that that actually does work. The they just remind me of Dickies, like uh, what are those called? Do you remember Gauchos? Shorties, if you're from Tennessee, especially Fairgate, if you if you, shorties used to be wearing the Gauchos all the time, if you know what a Gaucho is, that's what they look or like culottes, but uh, the culotte length of those pants, they they're all right. The outfit as a whole is like a seven. I give it a seven point five because the sunglasses from Chanel, they do make it look good. They do make it look good cropped wide leg trouser and it really shows up with those cropped trousers to show that is a statement sneaker and he knows what he's doing with those cropped on sneakers of that cropped wide leg trouser and it really shows off those louis vuitton sneakers that lv okay i really hope that arch inside the shoe is internal like the silhouette is fake to make it look like it's got that exaggerated arch but internally it's just a, a traditional arch length or arch height because if not that's crazy that's gotta hurt that is a sneaker that's fit t-shirt see i'm too good at this i'm too good at this i knew that belt was brown god damn now the brown makes more sense because there's more brown tones in the shoe as well i can see we're matching the browns with the blacks okay okay yeah, like I'm sticking with my 7.5. Stick with my 7.5. And then this black hunting the in just gonna give this 10 wing you over to look left sleeve that says Yeah, this is drippy. This is drippy. This works so well for him. This works so well for yeah, this is a good outfit. I get this one. I can't see the shoe. Minus seeing the shoe in the pants as this picture looks. It's ten wings out of ten. That's a hard outfit. Works so well. Works so well. Yep, with the little pop of the silver chain, white gold maybe or platinum. Pfft. See this boy out here stunting. I like the patch on the jacket. Like, well, what would you call that? Because it's not a what style of cut of jacket? Because it's like a trench, but it's made from another material. Can it still be a trench if it's the cut, but made from another material? Is that how that works? I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comments. But I like that patch on there because it's not traditional for those type of items. There, I'm gonna still, I'm, I'm gonna still let him have the ten. I'm gonna let him have the ten still. It still work. Jimin in the back. He looked like he hit one of the hardest little boom cat, uh, like kickball chain drop steps. That's what he looked like he doing in the background. Uh, there, I'm still the ten out of ten. He's doing it. That boy dripping today. He's dripping. Oh, it's so an off white trench coat. So that's Louis Vuitton. Okay, 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 okay. I see you. I see you. What are we gonna wrap this up with? All right, my favorite look for sure has to be the bottom left one, the green trench. That's going to go top of the pile for me. I'm going to go because I just really love the colors of the pinks and the purples and the, the, the burgundy and the hat. That Gucci outfit with the first outfit. So that top left one is going to be number two. Bottom right, far right, uh, the brown uh, trench coat from Off-White. Look, that's going to be three. White trench coat is four. Black outfit is five and then six will have to be the one i hate the worst because <sighs> no no mm -mm. men don't like not one bit not one bit it's lux overall though jay holds just he a drippy motherfucker we know this happy to see had a boy home do <laughs> else Probably. have any more I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry. I've, I've taken what I've needed. I do appreciate you making the entire video, but no. 
I, I, I didn't need all the extra information myself. But again, I want to make sure that anybody that watches my video, go watch this man's video if you want to have the actual proper fashion knowledge, not just somebody being snarky telling you what they are personal subjective opinion about fashion choices by a far more fashionable person than myself like please go watch george's video give him all the credit and praise for putting this together because i don't get to make my video if he didn't make his video so i just like to make sure that these folks get their they just desserts uh yeah, happy to have J Hope home. Happy to have Jen home. Everybody coming home soon. Uh, thank you guys very much for joining me. If you could please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description. And I'll see you on the next one. This is the end of this John Rivers episode. If you guys want me to do more after I put this one out, please let me know. Get in the comments. Like this video. Show me that I should make more of these. Because if so, we'll go through the rest of everybody else's output airport outfits and then i seen he had a couple other playlists of other bts outfits and stuff that we could go through as well so yeah thank you for joining me see you on the next one peace